It's easy to see the allure of jumping on a train at scenic Union Station in downtown Denver, then buzzing peacefully along the rails toward the Denver airport. When this University of Colorado-sponsored A-Line started rolling April 22nd, politicians promised a 37-minute trip, platform to platform. Instead, we are experiencing 20 to 30-minute delays. Passengers are repeatedly running into disappointing breakdowns. No train. Train's down, I guess, for some reason. Cancellations. I'm probably about an hour behind schedule, so my husband had to pick our daughter up from daycare. And chaos. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's, it's brand first... new. Should they have problems? I guess, I don't know. Pinning down how often this rail line has been late lies in this never before released arrival and departure database, acquired and analyzed by the Fox 31 problem solvers. We looked at 21,525 trips between DIA and the Union Station and found 3,157 late arrivals defined as more than five minutes overdue, of which 620 were considered extremely late, more than 15 minutes past the scheduled time. Records show at least 119 of the trips were more than 30 minutes late, and 49 more trips that were so delayed they were just considered incomplete or canceled. We're just not quite there yet, which we fully understand is frustrating for us as well. Regional Transportation District spokesperson Scott Reed tells the Fox 31 problem solvers delays have been such a problem RTD has been fining the agency it hired to operate the A-Line for failing to meet its contractual on-time obligations. So far, the Denver Transit Partners have been fined $70,000 for being late and another $1 million in fines for failing to honor smooth operations of other parts of the A-Line, like the continued use of paid labor to stand guard at every crossing because the safety arms don't come down at the proper time. They have not yet met our expectations. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing, but we also know they're working very hard to get where they need to be. Now five months after launching the A-Line to DIA, taxpayers like Tom Viles are still hesitant to get aboard if they really need to be on time. I wouldn't trust it right now until they get the kinks worked out. If I was actually trying to catch a flight, there's no way I'd be standing here right now. I'd 